Josh never said goodbye. Josh. Josh, 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 Josh. Rock salt, sodium chloride, table salt, NaCl, halite. Well, what is it? I don't know. We hear about it in the news. We, we have it all around us today, but do we really know where this mineral came from? Let's take a look at history, shall we? Salt, originating from the Latin word salarium, referring to the money paid to Roman soldiers in exchange for salt. From caravan to caravan, salt has been used for thousands of years. In the lives of animals, as well as humans, salt has provided two major compounds for living creatures, sodium and chlorine. Production. Salt! Salt. Salt. NACL. Where is this stuff coming from? Actually, most salt, or sodium chloride, is created naturally. The only chore is finding it. And extracting it! Today, salt is found through three different technologies. First being extraction from oceans and saline lakes such as the Dead Sea. The Great Salt Lake, or Moon, or the Caspian Sea. I'm Prince Caspian. The second method is the excavating of shafts allowing miners to get to salt deposits and chipping and blasting them to pieces. This can be referred to as geographically halite. The third is mining underground deposits and taking the water from the saline pumped all the way to the surface. Now if you look over here you'll find that salt is mainly produced in U.S. or China. And in 2011, China reached 60,000 tons. I've got to hand it to you, China. That's a lot of salt. <laughs> so now we have an idea of where it could come from, but do we actually know how it's made? Why don't we ask Professor Winston Richards, who graduated Harvard and Princeton in the study of salt. Richard? Thank you, Josh Nye. As we can see here, salt sodium chloride consists of a synthesis reaction, the reaction of putting things together. And because this reaction consists of high reactivities of sodium metal, huge amounts of light and energy are byproducts. Then this release of energy occurs just as the reactants become stable. So two or more simple substances form a more complex one. And it is of course an ionic bond. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, Doctor. So, what exactly am I holding? Well, it looks solid. Uh, looks like it. Well, it looks like it may have taken a long time to produce. Uh, but let's let's just dive into the chemical characteristics of this. Let's head over to the lab. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. No. Now, NaCl is an ionic compound. And what do we know about ionic compounds? They really bond. They don't share any electrons. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and if you have a non-metal and a metal like sodium and chlorine, ionic bonds. <laughs> now a sodium chloride crystal itself has almost a cubic structure consisting of negative and positive ions in each molecule. So, here's the breakdown. It appears as white crystals. Boiling point is 1413 Celsius. Melting point, 801 Celsius. Density is 2.165 grams. Odorless, <laughs> the chemical itself is 60% chlorine and 40% sodium. It's also a really good electrolyte. It conducts electricity. And though salt may not oxidize, it causes a metal nail in salt water to oxidize. Now I know it's your all thinking. 
You're thinking, is salt an acid or a base? Answer. <laughs> Neither! Though it may be formed with the reaction of an acid and a base. Like most ionic compounds, it dissolves in water easily. Let's ask Coach Slaughter what he thinks on the matter. Now as you maggots know, there are two types of elements to sodium chloride. Sodium and chloride. Chlorine. Shut up! Drop down and give me 20 push-ups! Right now! I wasn't supposed to expose this till next season, but... Here are their stat cards. Ugh. 1S2, 2S2, 3S1. Now those are the electron configuration of this model. Only one dot this year. It's obviously an alkali metal that reacts really well with water and oxidizes as soon as cut. And its electronegativity is 0.93. Now its first ionization energy requires 496 and its second requires 4560. Atomic number is 17. Electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, p5. Electronegativity 3.16. Ionization energy 1256 for the first. 2295 for the second. And it's definitely in the halogen family. Group 17. Clean stuff. No, I'm pretty sure we use salt every day, but not always the same way. Research has shown that salt makes possible 14,000 uses. In fact, salt is just as essential as water. Also, 51% of the world output of salt is used in colder areas for de-icing road. Also, salt could be used for deodorizing shoes, cleaning perspiration, freshening fruit, and freshening milk. Wow!